forgot about that. You know, I could. We're gonna have to remember that. I could build a plane right now. I have the ability to go to, like, I have a hundred or two hundred Zonite, so it is possible. I'm just choosing not to because I want to explore this first. But we're gonna go to the sky. Soon enough, we're gonna go to the sky and then maybe, maybe use that to leapfrog. What is, what am I sailing into? There's a light. Oh, it's this. This, which is extremely useless at the moment. Let's go back up. I love Recall so much. Recall is to this game what Stasis was to Breath of the Wild. And that's that's so fitting because they're very, like, they're similar in a way, but... Man, if it isn't true. There's a person over there. That was weird. Where do you need to go? Oh. Okay, sure. Well, at least now we have a goal. A goal to go down here. And then I can just recall it back. Because recall's amazing. We're going so fast. Stay on. Stay on. Keep it straight. Keep it steady. Oh, catching some air. Steering around the rock. Uh, uh, staying on the, the cliff. And then steer. Come on. Some shock fruit. There we go. You're welcome. Did he unfuse it? Did he destroy my thing? He did not. Grab this. Since I've used so many lemons recently. And then. And now I must go! You reset my thing, didn't you? You reset my thing. I should have unfused the Korok. What is this? Oh, that's not too bad. Or is this a uh, one stage thing? Oh, that's that was it? Okay. Cool. Short Korok seed. What do you want to bet that leads to the depths, strangely? I, I literally have... I think it was like a panel that we had to hit with lightning in a way somehow, but now it looks like a tunnel. It's a cave. Discovery. Something something shelf cave. Riju. This is this is your wheelhouse here, hun. Is this a mini dungeon? Also, there's a side route here. So this is one of those deals where we could have only... Hi, buddy. We could have only come here with Riju. Should probably switch to a, not a crazy bow. So we have a bubble frog, which again, we're stacking up rewards. We're stacking up so many rewards. When we finally run into Cletus or uh, Colton or whatever his name is again, ooh, okay, not a not a mini dungeon, but just a just a reward, just a straight up reward, a large zonite. That's it, but not ter not terrible. Yeah, you guys fight each other. I will handle your leader. Yeah, you're um, you're kind of missing the point. As did I. I didn't think that would hit. I need to stop dying. I need to actually be smart. What was that? Whoa! Whoa! That was a crazy attack. That was a nutso attack. I can flurry rush that, that's good. 
I am starting to feel my resources dwindle, which is why I took this on. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, your leader's dead. Maybe you should, like, stop fighting. No? Okay. Bokoblin Horn. Yes. Arcane power, apparently. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that was a good idea. Well, wasn't it? That's a crazy attack. That makes sense why he instantly broke one of my shields. Uh, while I have this, man, I have trash. Uh, listen. It makes sense. I, I need some durability here. Uh, that stone isn't necessarily going to get me up to the sky, nor do I want to, because I can, I can freely get up to the sky at this point. That's not a problem. The problem is finding a shrine on the, on the surface. Or finding something on the surface. That's kind of the aim here. You know, it's kind of a relief. We've seen, what, two, three stone taluses this, this entire time? It's really nice. The bosses we see are usually, like, not necessarily unique, but there's such a variety of them that I'm not getting tired of them. Like, if I saw a stone talus right now, I'd shrug, you know? I'd fight it. But it wouldn't be like, oh, I'm just gonna avoid that because there are five billion of them in the game. Is that a bear? Does that- do you see what I'm looking at here? Does that not look like a- Does that not look like a bear statue? It kind of does. I don't think I'm crazy. I think you're crazy. I don't know what this wants. Maybe it wants a roof- oh, you know what? It wants a roof over its head. I figured it out. Wolf, just leave me alone. Wolf, you're... I didn't want this, Wolf. Wow, he actually did a lot of damage. I'm impressed. Like, kind of. I also can't Z-target the wolf, because it's not an enemy. <laughs> Which is really dumb, because he dealt a lot of damage to me. Okay, is this what he wants? Does he want- does the statue want a roof? That's what the statue wants! And it was a Korok! Whatever it is, it's the exact right height for me to go- Oh. Okay, cool. That was, uh, very lucky. Sick. Is this an icy stone talus? This kind of looks like a stone talus. This is a stone talus, right? Yep, here it is. I did say I was fine if I saw one. Okay, frost talus. Not okay with that. Oh, Get, boop, 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 boop. Did you block it? Oh. Okay, if I remember, if I recall, if I touch that, I die. So, I gotta do this. I gotta thaw it, and then I can jump on, and of course, equip my new gear, as I always do. Uh, switch over to my rock weapon as well. That's fine. Move. Move, Link. Move, Link. Stun it. Two birds with one stone there. That should stun it. Thought. 
deal some bonus damage. You know, I'll switch to my I'll switch to my spear. It'll it'll break, and which will stun it more. And I'll switch to this. Also, I'm stabbing with a scythe. It's not what that's supposed to be for. Although it looks cool. It's kind of cool to have an actual scythe. Yes, I forgot about these. This is an icy one. That's gonna be such a powerful weapon. Uh, do I have anything to throw that on besides that, which is garbage? Um, I've used that quite a bit. I really haven't used that much, so I think I will. Destroy. There we go. Okay. Last real area of the session. What's here? This is what I so affectionately called the Bear Mountain. What does Bear Mountain have to offer? I'm thinking the bear is going to look a little bit more like a human skull, which makes you wonder. It begs the question, do the are these skulls of giants or do they carve the skulls out of rock? If they carve them, then perhaps I think we all underestimated these guys just a little bit. So I can just stand next to this and it'll melt. Don't care. Peace. Do I even care about that? I mean, it's... There's no Zonite involved, and it's like, do I want to fight them? I don't think I do. So what is... I think I've kind of corkscrewed into a finale here. Which is a, an amazing way of putting that. Because all that's left, I'm on this table land, I guess I could keep going a little bit further. Like, there's a wizard rope here, but that's nothing. I have all the rods I could ever need. Following the corkscrewed into a finale, of course, where else could I go, but I have all the rods I could ever need. I have a sapphire rod, I don't need that. In fact, I have a brand new one. I also have a blank rod that I don't even know what to do with. So as it stands, I think really all this is is a formality. I'm just running to one side of this just to confirm what I already know, that there's nothing here. Okay, not nothing per se, just a uh, Korok. Okay. So I guess we'll go get the Korok, the big spirally Korok. Was there a Lionel here in Breath of the Wild? I... I almost want to say there was. Oh, this is weird. Are there multiple holes in here? That's a lot of work for one Korok seed. There's one. Can I get another one? Or is it just hiding a rock? Oh, that's cool. It actually creates a, uh, a grabbable item. That's kind of neat. Okay, of course you specifically want the rock, not the snowball that it worked so hard to build for you. There you go. Okay, ending off the session on a shrine and the entrance to the depths where we will then descend and clean up. Is this? It is, and I'm so happy this came full circle. It's the Yika clan. Will they be here, I wonder? I'm not sure, let's, let's go into the shrine first. A balanced plan. Ratsumamu Shrine. Again, seems to be a pretty easy one. In fact, this one's very similar to one of the ones we did with Stasis. I don't even need to... I don't, I don't need to play their game. I don't need to play their game. I might need to play their game. It 
looks like I don't need to play their game. <laughs> Do that. Bring it back. Set it down. Jump on top. Recall. It's kind of amazing. All the stuff that Recall just breaks wide open. Also, the... Where is the chest? It's there. Easy enough. I'll just grab our break everything cube and throw it over here and bring it over here. I didn't know why I tilted it, but I did. The break everything cube, behold its majesty. Grab that. <laughs> More Zonite. Cool. It's gonna be a little bit janky. I kinda need to platform this. Play Super Mario Sunshine for a moment. And there we go. Balance. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> Balance, more like broken. Okay, so in Breath of the Wild, this was a hideout for the Yiga clan, but it also seems like, for the most part, they've moved underground. And some of these hot air balloons kind of indicate that they... they've started going to the depths through here, which makes sense because this is where Master Koga fell in Breath of the Wild, and uh, I theorize that that's how we would get... into... Interesting. That's how I, uh, we, we would go down into that during the Breath of the Wild DLC, and I was very disappointed that you weren't able to do that, but now it makes total sense. I mean, they probably didn't have plans for that, but, and it was fully modeled in Breath of the Wild down there, or they, there was a model of stuff down there. Ah, man, do I... That's a loose end that I forgot to tie up, is the Yiga Clan. Maybe, is, do I have a shrine that's close? on the other side. Not really. Or do I just go in? Maybe I just go in. I'm gonna go to the sky later. I can I can clean that up before I do. Besides, the Yiga clan is down here. We know. It's definitely down here. Let's see what their first base of operation, their main base of operations looks like. Oh. Of course it would look like this. We've already seen it. I've already conquered that camp down there. Well, that's... <laughs> that's anticlimactic. Yeah, that's where we fought the frogs. <laughs> so is there a Yiga Clan base around here? There are more... There are more of those. Man, seeing that from below looks really weird. Also, I... Imagine how creepy it would be to see enemies on the ceiling in, in the depths. Ugh. Like a, a super, uh, horriblin. Yeah, I don't exactly see where they would have gone from here. So, looking at the depths, I think what I'm probably gonna do... We've really modeled most of it. Next episode, or... Yeah, probably next episode. I'm gonna see what that's all about. That's weird. Isn't that really weird? We'll see what that's about. We'll get these two, uh, these two light roots. We'll chase this down. And then, I think we'll head to the sky. I think I've gotten all the shrines here, or close to it, and maybe we clean up the Yiga Clan hideout. There's still a lot to do, but we've established a very firm foothold in the past couple of episodes here. And I am excited to see what comes next. See you guys then.